Wells, glad you joined us. Wow, it's been a, an amazing, I don't know, several, several weeks. We've had a lot going on. <laughs> Once again, the yeah. world's on fire. The world's on fire. Uh, yeah, we just sort of jumped on here for a moment to talk about, well, we've got several things to talk about, but come on, the White House press secretary, the new one, you know, normally I'm always about giving people a chance and everything, but I don't know. Did you hear the introduction? I've never, ever heard anyone introduce themselves, not by their, their name or their qualifications yeah. or hi, nice to meet you, but to introduce themselves by their sexual orientation yeah. and skin color. I, I thought mean, we didn't do that. I mean... Yeah, but that is what's happening. I mean, this, exactly. this, this administration is absolutely going down the path that that's all they care about. So she introduces herself. I mean, not by her name. I always get her name wrong, but Kareem Jean-Pierre, I believe is how you pronounce beautiful it. Beautiful name. And, lovely And, and actually beautiful woman, really. Beautiful, lovely I mean, woman. does she call herself a woman? Because I'm beginning to wonder I don't in think this any administration. Of them are. Uh, so maybe I should say, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Am I supposed to say female too? Because you can't say any of that stuff anymore. No. But anyway, to me, she's a very, very uh, pretty uh, uh, black woman. But, you know, to introduce yourself to the public right out of the gate without talking about your qualifications, which is what I think you would mm -hmm. you would want to do, is I'm a, I'm a black gay. Uh, I'm, I'm black and I'm gay. I mean... Hi, nice to meet you. I'm black and I'm gay. I mean, really? So... Why? <laughs> why would you introduce yourself unless... Those are the merits that you've been hired for exactly, a position for you know? instead of your qualifications. Well, and even if she's the most qualified on the planet, that immediately took away from that from anybody that's looking at this the way I'm looking at it is, you know, come on. I mean, why are we so focused on that? I, I, this administration I really, is only focused on I, that. I could care less, honestly. Uh, yeah. I, I don't care what your sexual orientation is. And honestly, I don't know people that really do. Yeah. Nobody really gives a rip. Do your job. Do it well. Uh, do the job that Americans need, yeah. that Americans that love this country need. We don't really care yeah, well, who look you at, sleep with. Well, look at look at Katanji Brown. Okay, uh, look at Katanji Brown. Look at uh, Rachel Levine. I mean, let's let's be fair about this. Was it the qualifications even on those two? I mean, or was it just simply, I'm going to well, fill this entire uh, place up with, uh, to, to try to, you know, gain votes, I believe, from the LGBTQ, well, I mean, you know, times however we, many. We, uh, that's what I think. I we, think they're just trying gone, to gain votes. And that, that makes me think that they think that these people are not smart enough to just vote on merits of qualifications, but only because, let's see, let's, let's get people in okay. the office. Let's face it. We had Hillary Clinton, who back in 2016 was talking about uh, the taco bowl. You yeah. know, in the DNC emails that were leaked, yes. you know, she wanted the vote of the taco bowl. I mean, there were all sorts of references to... Um, skin color and gender and everything under the sun because that instead of hiring by qualifications we're hiring by vaginas and <laughs> skin color or and or non-vaginas right or <laughs> pretend I vaginas uh, i don't know who might that might be but i really don't give a rip if you have a pretend Fake vagina. Who cares? Just do your job. Who cares? Do your job and do it for all Americans regardless. Exactly. And, and, and don't let that be the defining factor of, of why you're in office. Group, that 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 makes me so mad. The group has so always talked about inclusion. I know. Uh, it is, doesn't include anybody. They, True. They use separation. True. Separation. Gender separation. Color separation. Separation here. Separation. That here. is separation. separation. I'm that probably, is separation. We're probably would be separated because we wear red lipstick. Hello? Yeah. I don't give a rip. Do your job. I don't care who you sleep yeah. with. No. I don't care. I don't think Do the majority job. cares. I don't think the majority cares. Listen, this administration is pitting everybody against everybody. Uh, there's you and there's me. Mm -hmm. That's how they're doing it. Look on the news today. All you hear is white supremacy, white supremacy, white supremacy. How many times do you hear that when you turn on the news? It's, it's constant, and it's, and it's... Well, what's even worse is when you see it constantly on, yeah. on social media, brainwashing people. And there are people who who have never really been an active part of anything. Yeah. And, and you see it every day. Look on social media. You see yeah. people that, that have sat at home, 
Uh, and this is their opportunity. This is their right. opportunity to yeah. posture and to stand on a soapbox. Yeah. So they're going to fall right in line with all this garbage, all this garbage, because it gives them a sense of belonging. Yeah. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. Now they have that new bill that just passed, and now they have really put the power into the FBI, which literally is beholding to Congress to report, literally, on domestic terrorism, domestic terrorism meaning domestic situations going on in the United States. Right. Well, and, I mean, it started you know, with the with the, the Patriot Act, and yeah. then it's gone from there. Yeah. And this administration, and they're the Minister of Truth, and all this garbage that the Biden uh, cabinet has come up with is to do nothing but stifle the vices yes. of constitutional freedom loving Americans. That's all yeah. it's about. Well, it's further in the agenda to be able to call everybody that disagrees with this administration that they are Nazis, that they are white supremacists. That's what it is. And you know what I say? We we would be investigated for being domestic terrorists. We really would be. I just really because we have a difference of opinion. Sticks and yeah. stones. I'm going <laughs> to think what I want to think. Yeah. I'm going to say what I want to say, how I want to say it. I'm going to try to have an educated opinion before I say it so yeah, I'm absolutely. not an idiot. Yeah, absolutely. And you can call me whatever you want. Get to calling. I really don't give a rip. Yeah, well, you don't usually. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know, here's the thing. You know, um, we're all Americans. You know, we need to be standing Act together. Like and you Act know, like an American. That's the, what I say. These people need to be concentrating on the border. Mm -hmm. These people need to be be concentrating on the real terrorists that are coming across our border. Uh, I'm not saying that. everybody, but I'm saying, you know, there are some. They, they need to be they need to be uh, looking at uh, what's happening across our globe. Uh, they need to be looking at, you know, what's happening right here in America that's actually they important. Instead of doing smoke screens, uh, I mean, yeah, they should be concentrating on baby formula. They don't care. That's what I'm saying. Well, okay. Okay. And and to and to talk further about that, which I wasn't going to, but since you brought it up, you know, we all I'm know bad, that, I'm not really that bad about Abbott, doing Labor that. Abbott Laboratories yeah. had a problem. There were two deaths nationwide, unexplainable deaths. Yeah. They don't know why. But get this. I mean, you had a problem. You had Biden who did not uh, appoint anyone to head up the USDA for like, what, over a year, a year, over a year, something like that. Complete chaos within the USDA. We'd already had all these shutdowns during coronavirus, etc. Then now you've got Abbott, mm -hmm. who is shut down because of that. And actually, they said, yeah. we are shutting down because yeah. we want to make sure that, that the safety of these infants and babies is primary to us. So we are yeah. shutting down. Yeah. The USDA had no contingency program, no anything. But as usual, guess what? People blame Trump. I kid you not, you can't make this up. Well, people always blame Trump for everything. I know. I know. Gosh. Anyway. Well, anyway, by the time this airs, yeah, you're right. We have yeah. we have so many things, too many things right now. But by the time that this airs, the primaries will be over and the results of the primaries will be in. So when we come back, we'll probably be talking about that. But, Fingers uh, crossed. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the time we speak to you again, we we've have drained the swamp. we've drained the swamp at least a little bit further. I know right. we probably can't get it all out. You know, there's always going to be a tadpole or two at the bottom. Right, you know, exactly. Scratch or a salamander down there somewhere. But then but, at the same time, you know, <laughs> yeah. poop always floats to the top. Well, that's so. true, too. Eventually it does, doesn't it? You know, people, uh, let's get smart. Let's get smart and let's and do stop something. being foolish and do something. So... Keep speaking your mind. Keep commenting. Keep talking to us. We really do appreciate you engaging with and us. And doing the work. Absolutely. And also, check out our videos. We have a few videos out right now. Some of some adventures yeah, that we've done. Yeah, because we do have fun, too. Yeah, along with rescuing we, we animals we and yeah, riding motorcycles and everything else. Speaking, we, we do try to Yeah, and fun. speaking of animals, if you go over to Pets No Politics, and, you know, we always appreciate help there, too. So, we love you out there. We'll see we you. We do. We'll see you next Bye -bye. time. God bless America. Bye.